I want to begin by saying that I do not endorse candidate, candidates normally unless I truly believe in the person and in their capability to perform the tasks for the job for which they are applying. I believe that the voters of District 63 could not make a better selection for our state legislator than Mark Messmer. Thank you. It, uh, when we select someone for such an important job as our state legislator and a representative, we need to look closely at their qualifications. I believe that our representatives should possess values and characteristics, uh, and, and those values and characteristics should reflect the values and characteristics that are shared by his constituency. Now, what are some of those values that I think are important? One is the love of God, love of family, and the pride in their job, in their home, and in their community. And for Jasper, this is particularly important. Jasper is a church community, uh, one where people take great pride in their jobs, in their schools, their hospital, their organizations, uh, their homes. In fact, as I traveled around the state of Indiana, I can tell you that Jasper is known throughout the state for that strong pride that they possess. So I have a question to the citizens of Jasper. I ask you, isn't it time after almost 50 years that you elect a representative from your community who shares your values? Okay. Someone who grew up here in Jasper, who is raising their family here, who has a business here, who works in their church and their community organization. Now, I believe also that the citizens of Davies County and Pike and Martin County possess these same values and pride, and they want the best for their communities also, and they also want someone who shares these values. And in Mark, I think that we have that person. Now, I have another question. Your present state representative, Dave Crooks, has had almost 12 years to make a stand or offer a solution on property taxes. Has he done this? No. Well, he's had almost 12 years to tackle school issues. Now, in 12 years in school, don't you think that you could at least have a plan? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's had almost 12 years to promote economic growth and development that will bring good paying jobs to this part of southern Indiana. Has he done that? No. Well, he's had almost 12 years to get tough on crime and drugs. And then last February, do you remember, last February, he voted against what? I-69. Now, I ask you, why would someone who lives in a community which will benefit greatly from a road going right by that community vote against such an important road, a road that is so important to southern Indiana? So the question is, who does he really represent? St. Joseph County? Our District 63. Now, now, being an elected official, um, office holder, both local and state, uh, for 24 years, I don't believe that a politician should sell out on his constituents. I think that's plain wrong. It takes courage, and sometimes it takes a lot of courage to do what is right for those people who you represent. It takes a person who has shown commitment and dedication to a project in which he believes. It takes a person of the caliber of Mark Mesmer. Now, I know Mark Mesmer. He is a man who really lives the values that we hold so dear. He's a soft-spoken man, but I tell you, he can be firm and fair, and is fair in his dealings and beliefs. He will represent Davies and Martin and Pike Counties and Jasper and Ireland and Hayesville and St. Anthony and half a Dubois with integrity and courage. It is certainly gives me a great amount of pride to introduce to you a man who I respect and I believe in, Mark Messmer.